I think women are a little too subtle when they like a guy, you know, on social media. They'll, they'll like, like two photos and be like, oh my God, what a rush. <laughs> oh my God. I did my part. It's on him now. I really put myself out there. <laughs> but guys will DM you and be like, hey, I'd love for you to sit on my face sometime. <laughs> yeah. I'd kill my entire family just to oh, smell your shoe. God. Here's a picture of my cock if you don't think I'm serious. <laughs> like, that won't be necessary. I, I believed you. I believed you the first. I have more cock pics in case you think I'm... That one wasn't good. It was bad lighting. I'll send you another one. I'll send you a carousel. A carousel of cock pics. Uh, so, you know, I was looking at some like profiles on dating apps and stuff, and like one one girl's it said, it said neurodivergent on there. Well, it's interesting though because like remember when you when you used to hide that, <laughs> right? Like that was a thing that you kind of buried and hope wouldn't get out, and then after a couple months you you you'd find out and be like, oh, this chick's crazy. <laughs> You didn't, like, it wasn't a trophy. You didn't broadcast it. It's interesting because, like, it's listed on there like an achievement now. I feel like younger people have flipped the script. Like, they've turned red flags into green flags <laughs> with their language. Because they'll be like, I want to set you up with this girl. She's great. She's a neurodivergent, body and sex positive content creator. <laughs> like, so you want to set me up with a fat, crazy chick who does porn? <laughs> Fat crazy chicken who's porn, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that, those are the '90s terms, but that's if you have shame in your heart. But if you, yes, queen, she's great. <laughs> she makes money doing it. I don't know. Oh, a fly land. A lot of bugs are landing on me. <laughs> I just be like, I'm a dirty person, so I'm like really dirty. All these bugs. I'm like Snow White of insects. <laughs> That'd be gross. Why does everyone love when birds land on you, but like if a beetle's on me, they'd be like, what the fuck is wrong with that guy? <laughs> They're all God's creatures. What? <laughs> Just because it has a thorax, you have a problem? <laughs> yeah, a fly landed on me. Do you ever feel embarrassed when a fly lands on you? You're like, oh no, everyone's gonna think that I'm like, I'm a shitty, dirty person. <laughs> like the table over is gonna be like, is that, is that guy a turd? <laughs> Is that guy a turd with legs? Oh, that turd is talking. I, I thought it was a, a giant turd at the table, but because I saw so many flies on that guy, but I guess he's human. Yeah, so a fly landed on me. And I feel like flies must be jealous of mosquitoes. You know what I mean? Because as soon as a fly lands on me, I'm like, get out of here. And he's like, oh, you let a mosquito land on you and like suck your blood? <laughs> I just wanted to be friends. I just wanted to kick it. That's not enough. All right, there's that. I'll try. This is kind of involved, but I think I think like the woke movement, like like the fringes of liberalism, makes it really hard to make progress for like liberals. You know what I mean? Because liberals will be like, for the more centered ones, they'll be like, "Hey, we're bailing out banks all the time. Like, why don't we forgive student loan debt?" And then people are like, yeah, and we should do drag shows in kindergarten. <laughs> We're like, yeah, 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 hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's so many homeless people. We need a f more housing and drug treatment facility centers. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we, guys should be able to have giant fake prosthetic tits teaching woodshop. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Again, I don't know. Even simple, even simple stuff like black lives matter. And they're like, what about black trans lives? <laughs> like, like, just fucking give it a second, okay? Let us do this. Let me open the door first and then we f you're scaring them with all this shit. Let me get into the club first and then we'll talk about this shit. <laughs> Wait. It's gonna jump in the gun is all I'm saying. I'm, I'm all for drag shows in like kindergarten. I think it's good. <laughs> because then you kind of get to see which way, which kids are leaning that way early. You know, like the kindergartens who are like into it. 
you don't have that 10 years of ambiguity. You're like, okay, we know. <laughs> we know what his deal is. There's just a kindergarten. Like, <laughs> the kindergarten's like, slay. Slay all day. <laughs> then it's not a surprise, you know? Okay, we'll see if you like it or not. I don't know. I'm just gonna play coy for all of them. Like, you guys may not like this. I don't know. It's stupid. I don't know if you're gonna like it. <laughs> it's, it's really, I, mean, I don't know. Did you do that growing up in like art class and everything? Like, it's really stupid. I mean, I'm just fishing for attention. No, it's great. You, no, it's, yours is better. Like. But deep down, you think it's awesome, and you're like, please shower me with praise. <laughs> What's that? Hard to get comedy. Hard to get what? Comedy. Hard to get comedy? Yeah. Now what? <laughs> Does it, oh, I'm playing hard to get. Got, okay, so yeah, it was tough, right? Okay. As long as I have a partner in this, I thought... <clears throat> I thought I was the only one who didn't understand. Okay, I'll try this. So, Jimmy Buffett died recently, you guys know? Yeah? So he died of skin cancer, right? Which is kind of like on brand for... Yeah, because like Margaritaville, fun in the sun, is kind of poetic, you know? And then Paul Walker, he died in a car. Right. And he was in Fast and the Furious, so that was kind of like, that was like, yeah, the same thing, you know? It's crazy how these people died kind of like part of what their thing is. Yeah, it would be like if Harvey Weinstein got raped to death. <laughs> This is, this is brand, right? <laughs> Nobody saw that punchline coming, right? Uh, yeah. Did that guy use it? Or not? Did you? That's my like Jeopardy judge. Did you, in the, yeah. So this is my impression of like a toddler at 8 a.m., okay? Uh, yeah, my buddy has a kid and that was happening the whole time, so. <laughs> Thank you. He's like, yeah, you can wake up whenever you want. <laughs> And <laughs> Phil Collins over there. <laughs> little Phil Collins. Great rhythm. Yeah, little kids in like toddlers, they're like Andrew Tate. They're like, you know, I wake up at 4 a.m. <laughs> and I start banging the kitchen table, okay? And then I take a nap for two hours and then I get after it. I eat Cheerios. 